Hi, and welcome to this edition of ArchiCAD template creation. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about um, pen sets. Um, so out of the box, ArchiCAD comes with a pretty robust, broad kind of spectrum of different pens. And what we want to kind of talk about is kind of how these are used within the project and how you can uh, adjust them. Um, so let's just start with the default uh, 10 pen set. So it's kind of a reduced number. It looks like a, there's only 150 pens out of the set. Um, actually, there could be 160 pens for this set. Um, and as you can see, there's, there's a total of 200 and 56 to 255 pens that you can have. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of pins really. And really the goal is to kind of just maximize, um, you know, what you're looking at through the representation of the pins, their colors, the weight and things like that. So you really don't want to kind of overcomplicate um, your pen sets to a great degree. Um, so I'm kind of a minimalist in like setting up your template. I prefer to have the minimum amount of information necessary to execute the project effectively. So if you're going to have all black pins, let's just call this uh, Digital Tutors uh, Black. And let's just change the weights of these two. Let's just make this one. Let's make this, uh, since we have eight here, um, So you got to be careful when you're setting up these pins because if you grab one or if you grab two, then it's going to adjust both of them at the same time. So let's just make this like a super light pin. So now we have adjusted it. So we have one, seven, point five, point two five, point zero one five, And again, these can be whatever you want. Um, so let's just, so this description is also very helpful. So you can name it whatever you want. You can name this, um, medium dark or we'll call this medium. Um, you can also, like in a lot of these, you could say some of them have the names of them, like door swing. Um, some of them, let's see, I saw one, uh, like that light door swing, medium door swing. So this is also very helpful, especially if you're creating your own template, you could say, I mean, you can make all these representative of what they are so that, you know, if you have a remote team or people that you're not necessarily needing to interact with on a daily basis, but they are working on your projects with your template and you wanted to convey some um, setup information within your um within your template, you can do it here. So you could say like here, door swing. You could say, this is like furniture. Um, and then when you're going to, let's just set up an element real quick. 
let's just set up that door. So within the door, you'll have the option to adjust the line weights. And that's the door swing there. Um, so within the uh, floor plan settings, you can adjust the line weight of the swing. You can also adjust it in this uh, custom settings area. But in any event, you'll be able to see the name of the pin that's associated with that um, the pin that we set up previously. Um, so that'll allow you to be able to easily adjust the settings of different elements um, using a, a naming convention that you're accustomed to and that other people who are on your team will be able to adjust these different settings based on the pen set. So that's the critical element, is just being able to set up your pen sets so they represent the various different nuances of your elements, and that will give you a better uh, control over your elements and the pens and allow people who are not necessarily familiar with your project to be able to adjust those settings. So let's look at this a little bit deeper so that you can make it look exactly how you want and function correctly. But you also want to ensure that you have pins that represent the different ways that you're going to be looking at information. So say, for instance, you have floor plans, but they're not just going to be construction document floor plans. So we'll just create a folder called like uh, schematic design. So say within that, you might have, um, you might want everything to be black. You might want everything to be um, a different type of color. So here you can see it's all black. Um, and then if I changed it again from all black to color, and then that's gonna adjust how things are gonna look. Um, but the biggest things that I see as uh, differences between the different pens or the ne necessity for different pens are mainly for uh, the type of drawing that you're looking at, whether it's a presentation drawing, whether it's an electrical drawing or a mechanical drawing where you want to gray out certain elements and then highlight certain elements like ductwork or uh, electrical fixtures and things like that. Um, and those are the main reasons why I see different types of pin sets used. Um, so that's basically it for pins. Um, and uh, looking forward to seeing the next lesson.